All right, so this video is all about the YouTube Smackdown, uh, where they have demonetized a lot of smaller channels. Okay, guys, so as you probably know, you know, on January 16th, uh, what happened was YouTube has changed the YouTube Partner Program. Uh, which allows you access in your YouTube, um, you know, account to uh, to do end cards, cards, all those sorts of uh, cool things, as well as monetizing your videos, meaning selling ads. And the reasons for this pretty much come down to advertisers. Okay, there there were three kind of baskets of unsavory groups that were affecting YouTube's or Google's. AdWords revenue. And at the end of the day, you know they want to give quality to their uh, to their users. So as you know, there's a lot of junk on YouTube, um, but there were a lot of videos that were mashups of cartoons that uh, were kind of geared towards children, but then they were like showing really adult things in them. Um, that was one of the problems. Uh, another problem was, um, you know, there were terrorist groups that were uploading stuff and that was you know getting uh, monetized and there are just some uh, unsavory bad actors uh, that you know quite frankly the YouTube program doesn't want to advertisers don't really want um, want to advertise on that you know so what they did was they actually raised the bar considerably higher it was just uh, a thousand subscribers that you needed to uh, to achieve. Or no, it was just 10,000 views. Sorry, 10,000 views, um, and you could you could run ads. Well, now they've they've changed that, and they have some new policy in place, which is 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and a thousand subscribers. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, and basically what they said was it's not gonna affect that many people. Uh, for me personally, I'm actually affected uh, by this from my main channel and I wasn't actually hey using guys, it for monetization. Here, what I wanna talk to you about is, so if we go to youtube.com forward slash Andrew Murray, um, I actually just, just planned to, to use it for monetization just a little bit before this, uh, this whole thing happened. Um, like we're talking like a week. <laughs> so, uh, pretty interesting. Um, so I did monetize a couple of videos um, just in advance of this, but I'll, sh I'll break down the numbers for you, how it works, okay? So as you can see, um, my revenue, like I wasn't monetizing any of my videos because I really wasn't using that for that. So I started doing that and you know made uh, a little bit of money in the last, uh, last few days, uh, tying a little bit of money. <laughs> But you know, this is what people are complaining about. They're not gonna be able to do that. So here's my thoughts on this. First off, don't worry about it. Um, you know, there are other ways to monetize YouTube, which is what I was doing before. You know, I wasn't relying on the ad revenue. Um, I was using it just to kind of host my videos. And most of my videos I put up uh, unlisted uh, because I didn't really want them to be all over uh, YouTube. That's changing now because I'm doing some content videos, some more content videos that I do want to, to, to put um, out there. And, you know, I've actually done some uh, incredible um, SEO, like, uh, like let's, just, let's just show this one for example. Um, so this video that I just put up uh, a little while ago, uh, I'm gonna pause this for you here. Uh, we're actually unboxing from Ikea and you'll see in the search rankings, uh, we're showing up uh, number one for Ikea Vimli, Ikea Vimli Assembly, number one, number two, number two, number two, uh, number one. So, and this is all with uh, with no backlinks, just using a little system that I'm uh, uh, doing. So if you want to know more about that system, reach out and, uh, and let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how to, how to do that. But essentially, um, so in the last... So, yeah, so this this video it's only been around for not that long, not even you know the full thirty days, just a few days. Okay, so what I want to do is let me jump over here into uh, YouTube Studio, and this is a great little app because it basically mimics you know the uh, the analytics of um, well, it is the analytics for for YouTube, 
but you can see the watch time, the views, um, you know, and uh, see all the uh, all the information here. There's some, you know, some different tabs that you can see. Um, and I actually find it, I like this app because I, I can find what I want very easily in it and it's easier to navigate. I mean, here there's, there's just a ton of links. Um, I actually find this setup a little bit better on the, uh, on the app. So there you go with that. But I'm just gonna show you the big screen for now. What you will see here in the analytics is, um, so let's go over the, uh, the requirements. So back in April, 2017, it was 10,000 lifetime views. Now it's 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers, okay? So subscribers is, is pretty easy and subscribers isn't my problem uh, because I've got uh, something like 2,500 subscribers, something like that, but it's the watch time, okay? And when you break it down, 4,000 hours is 240,000 minutes a year, okay? Uh, so 240,000 minutes a year, write that down. About 333 hours a month, okay? And that works out to about 20,000 minutes a month, okay? So right now we're at, uh, in the last 28 days, I'm at 8,181 minutes. So I gotta get uh, that up to 20,000 on aggregate. And what that works out to a day is 11 hours a day of watch time and 666 minutes a day, okay? So 666 minutes uh, per day, okay? Or uh, 11 hours. So back over here, I was at, you know, cause I wasn't really monetizing YouTube an hour, two hours. So I started doing my YouTube optimization system with, uh, with that video here. And boom, I went seven, eight, 10, so it's 11 hours a day, right? So I'm almost there at that point, 12 hours, 13 hours. And uh, today is already 10 hours, but it's only it's only noon um, here. So uh, this is gonna, gonna be up, uh, up above. So I'm already over the limit now. What's gonna happen to me is this takes effect in February, um, at the end of February, and I'm gonna be demonetized because when you look at the last year, uh, and you can do that from uh, from this last 365 days, and as I said, I haven't really been using YouTube and a lot of the videos that, that I put on for sales videos and stuff, I put on Wistia, just because the tracking's a little bit better for sales video, and uh, you know, I don't like people being able to click through my my uh, you know sales videos and go right to, right to YouTube and uh, you know, just kind of see how long it is and all that stuff, but you can see that right now um, I'm at uh, 63 and this needs to be 240,000. So probably what I'm gonna see is I'm gonna drop off in February um, as my views are, are going up. Sometime in the, during the year, I'm gonna cross that threshold because it's always gonna be looking back at, you know, averaging over for the last 365 days, okay? But basically what I wanna show you is Look guys, I mean, I did one content video and I went from, you know, two hours, let's say on average, to, you know, the limit already. So it's not that hard to reach. Um, all you gotta do is be consistent. So this is just doing a couple videos um, and you can already start achieving that and get there. What this is gonna do, is also gonna create a long-term focus for your business. So. I would build into a channel, one channel that's gonna be long-term, that's really branding you and what you wanna talk about, and then put your content there, get it out there. Uh, you're not gonna have a lot of trouble achieving those. And again, don't worry about the YouTube monetization. I mean, it is the lowest form of monetization you can get. I mean, you can still put up a video, put an affiliate link in your video, and you know, be able to drive traffic to a capture page you may have or to an affiliate link and you'll make more money that way than you know, by uh, selling ads on it. What this also signifies though is that YouTube is really looking at their AdWords platform and AdWords video because they're the premier video platform and that's gonna be a great place to advertise because come February, there's a lot of you know, lower quality stuff that's gonna be culled out. And you know, a lot of these people that have this kind of 
level of views, you know, they have better videos, more polished videos. So your ads are going to be showing, you know, not to like some guy that's just throwing on his iPhone and, you know, it's blurry in the background and it's dark and grainy and all that stuff, you know, so it's going to be good, a good move for, uh, for advertisers. So hopefully that experience. Explains what's going on with the YouTube demonetization and you've got a game plan now to go out and get yourself to that level and the other nice thing is once you get to that level it's a nice little level to like reach where you can say yeah man you know I got to that level you know it gives you a real concrete goal to shoot for so go out there guys make it happen if you have any questions hit me back you know give me a like give me a subscribe click that that bell to get notified uh, for my next videos and let me know what you want to have videos on. I'm more than happy to answer any and all of your comments and questions. All right. Thanks guys. Make it a great day.